We are in lockdown. Again. I now have to do school in lockdown. For now it's just two days, Monday and Tuesday, but I highly doubt there's gonna be two days. So, I decided, why not vlog it? You know, why not take you along, see the ins and outs, experiences of this, this rough week that's gonna be. I've already had a mental breakdown today. That's all right, that's all right, it's fine. But yeah, I've had a really productive day of doing school work and I decided I'm going to treat myself now by cutting my fringe. I mean, I already still have my fringe, but I'm gonna cut it shorter and fix it up a little bit. Why not? And then I have to spend the rest of the night doing a music extension assignment that I have not done and draft tomorrow. Okay, welcome to the horrible setup and lighting that is my bathroom. I'm going to cut my hair now. So don't judge the fringe cutting experience because I know it's not gonna be perfect, but it is what it is. It'll look fine. I've done it thousands of times before. You're everything I want in a pixelated sonogram taking off your top. It's a product of Okay, now that I've got my new fringe and everything, which really doesn't look that different to what it was two minutes ago, I've decided I'm gonna wake up nice and early in the morning and go for a swim at the beach and just get the productive vibes flowing. I have to do a lot of work tomorrow. So I'm thinking why not start the day off with a swim at the beach? My stomach hurts, man. Fill me up with all this negative energy and shit. Like I don't even know. What's the point? Like I don't even You just make me feel like shit sometimes. I think you should start to know that because as soon as you do, you can start to accept that you're the piece of shit. No, fuck you. So I'm going for a swim and it's kind of freezing this morning. Well, it's 17 degrees. Which is cold. Anyways, yeah, I'm going for a swim and my friend is coming as well. We're going to completely social distance plus you are allowed to exercise with a friend. Usually I'd be at school right now, in class, getting my name marked off a roll. But instead I'm driving to the beach. You've really got to just appreciate what you have here. It's hard during these times. It's really hard. It's really hard to appreciate what you have and feel grateful. But, God, there's so many people out there struggling a thousand times more than I am. That's just, I guess, a way for me to be grateful for what I have. Which is the ability to go for a swim at a beautiful ocean and feel safe and get a park. <laughs> it, it is so incredibly beautiful this morning. Oh my God, the water. It's a golden Okay, that was so lovely. The water was actually not that cold, like, I mean, it was kind of cold. I'm nearly home now, and yeah, I'm just gonna have a shower and then get stuck into some schoolwork. I think it's nine o'clock now, and I don't have to log into a class on Teams until 11. I have double English. I hate English. But before then, I'm gonna just try and get some work done. Um, but yeah, that was a really nice morning, a nice outing. I do feel a bit guilty, even though we haven't broken any rules. Just the fact that I was like out of my house during the lockdown kind of just gives me anxiety. <laughs>
feeling so unproductive today. I just like sitting in bed and watching Gossip Girl. How do I be productive? I'm going to practice my instrument and get that done. Okay, I have been like majorly productive today. I've submitted two drafts, had a confrontation with my art teacher and been going to classes and doing all of that shenanigan. So I think I deserve a break. I think my break is going to be watching Gossip Girl and painting. <laughs> I'm about to have breakfast and then I'm gonna go for a walk and a jump in the ocean. I find that if I don't be productive in the morning, I struggle to be productive the whole day. That's why I'm gonna go for a walk and a swim and then yeah, come home and get some stuff done. up on a really dangerous spot because my tripod just broke but I am going for my walk now I've just packed towel airpods I'm off okay I'm here now but I have my mask and I'm gonna go for the walk now it's really busy because so many people are out exercising because it's the only thing we can actually do I will be listening to Billy's new album because it came out four days ago now maybe and it's I love it I know there's lots of mixed opinions but I'm obsessed with it and I just see girls I know from school so I'm embarrassed uh,
All right, so I just got home and I was not recording that entire time. I was talking and I was explaining and I just didn't record. But to be honest, I was rambling a lot. I was just saying that I'm not doing any schoolwork like at all. It's because all my classes are like check in for the first 10 minutes and then like go off and do your assessment. And I just, I end up like going for a walk or eating food or watching telly, but that's all right. I think my body needed this break anyways, but I do want to sunbake a little bit. So I think I'm just going to go lie in the sun and read a little bit and then try and get some actual schoolwork done, I think. That's a first. It's just when you have this opportunity to just sit down and like lock down, it does give you the opportunity to like kind of reset and just like re-evaluate what you want to actually be doing in your life and like just slow down I guess. So I have been, you know, going for walks and doing yoga in the morning and reading and watching Gossip Girl and like I want to be crocheting and doing all that sort of stuff that I really enjoy doing or even filming this video. I don't get time to do these things when school's happening. So I'm really taking advantage of it, which is great, but it means that I'm not doing any schoolwork. Which it just isn't good, but it is what it is. I do need to get some schoolwork done today, as well as enjoying it. Enjoying, you know, slowing down and relaxing, I guess. But yeah, I'm really just trying to stay positive in this time. It's really easy to get up in your mind and become negative about, you know, the whole thing. But there's no use in that, I guess. Like, just stay safe and just try and make the best out of your situation, which is what I'm trying to do. So, yeah, I feel really gross and sweaty, which is a perfect opportunity to go lie in the sun and become more gross and sweaty. <laughs> instead of listening to my teacher so that's really effective i now need to actually do some school work i was gonna sunbake but the sun's left so i'm kind of forced to do school it is literally the most beautiful afternoon right now like can you hear the birds i have finished all my schoolwork that i needed to do today and so for the rest of the afternoon i'm going to draw watch gossip girl maybe edit a little bit and just yeah enjoy the afternoon because it's really beautiful without exception, women were drawn towards Oswald. In the first place, he was a man who refused to be owned at any price, and this automatically made him desirable. Okay, good morning. I think it's about 9.30. I have just made myself some breakfast. It just has raspberry, blueberry, honey, and chia seeds, porridge. And then I'm going to sit and journal for a bit.
as tight as you want.